Hello everyone, this is Robin Armbrecht with Really Robin Stamps. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial. Today's project is going to be a double one sheet wonder using six by six designer series paper or double sided pattern paper. This project is great because it's kind of like a, a template, like a puzzle that helps you put together cards. So this template that I have is going to make five cards. So let me show you how this works. Here are the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need five card bases, which I'm going to go ahead and cut mine. And so I've got three full sheets of eight and a half by 11 card stock, which I will have one extra card base. And then I have two sheets of basic white eight and a half by 11 card stock. And these are going to be for the fronts of the cards. So let's start putting, um, cutting our card stock and getting started. So these are all going to be just your basic card design. So I'm going to score my paper at four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to turn and I'm going to cut at five and a half. And I'm going to do that for all three of these. I'm going to score at four and a fourth inches and then cut at five and a half. That gives me two card bases. And we'll do it one more time. Score and then cut. All right, so one of these will be extra. I'll put that to the side. So now I have five card bases. This one sheet wonder pattern is meant to fit on a trimmed piece of cardstock on the front of the card. So I'm going to take my two pieces of basic white and I'm going to make those cuts at four inches by five and a fourth. So it's just a fourth inch smaller than the front of a card base. So even though I only need five for this project, I'm gonna go ahead and cut two full sheets because this size of basic white at four inches by five and a quarter is a very useful size to have. It's also the same size that I usually put on the inside of my cards so that I can write on a dark colored cardstock. Okay, basic white is a little thinner than your regular cardstock, so you can cut two at one time. So I've been cutting two here each time. So now I have eight pieces of basic white that are four by five and a fourth. Now I always save these half inch strips because I can use them with my, um, tag punches that look like this. There's a half inch strip um, slot that you can make these great little tags and flags for. So I always save those. All right, let's get these folded so they will get out of our way. So you may have heard the term one sheet wonder. And what that means is with one sheet of pattern paper usually, you can create multiple cards by making certain cuts. So it's a really great way to utilize um, one full sheet of 12 by 12 paper, or in this case, we're going to use um, six by six size paper. So it's kind of a fun pattern um, just for making multiple cards really quickly and then all the cards look different. All right, so I've got my five card bases and I've got eight of these, but we only need five. So I'm gonna count out one, two, three, four, five. So these, as you can see, are the size that will just layer nicely on the front of a card base. Okay, so this pattern is called a double one sheet wonder. And so um, 
all that means is that when I'm cutting my pattern for my one sheet wonder, I'm going to cut two pieces at the same time, giving me twice as many pieces and different um, possibilities for layering the paper together. So the paper that I'm going to be using today for this project is a new pack of paper that's called Sweet Symmetry. It's on page 133 in the new catalog. And you can see um, the two sides of the paper here in this small pattern. Let me just show you the big sheets. It's really fun. Um, kind of different than anything that we've had recently. But I, pattern paper that has kind of small prints like this are usually pretty easy to use. So let me show you the opposite side. We've got some great, even smaller patterns on that size. Okay, so the Sweet Symmetry um, Designer Series paper is designed to coordinate with this stamp set bundle. So the stamp set's called In Symmetry. And then there is a punch. This is page 113 in the annual catalog. This is the stamp set. And then the punch that coordinates with the stamp set is called Symmetrical Stems Border Punch. And that's on page 148. So bundled together, the stamp set and the punch is $29.50. Now, I bought the paper because I really loved the colors in the paper. So I have a pack of this paper, but I did not get the punch or the stamp set yet. And um, once I created this project to show you, I was very sad <laughs> that I didn't have this. So it's definitely gonna have to go on my list of things to get next time I order. Okay, so let me show you how you put the double one sheet wonder pattern together. So when you're choosing your um, paper, you wanna pick patterns where all four sides will coordinate. So they will have similar colors in them. So I chose these two because they both have the Just Jade, the Coral, the Bumblebee, and then they have a little bit of the Flamingo color in them. So they will go together. Now these I cut into six by six pieces from a piece of 12 by 12. So you just cut it into fourths to get a piece of six by six. Some of our um, designer series paper with Stampin' Up already comes in six by six size. So if you have one of those packs, it's really easy to just grab two that coordinate together. Okay, so that was my first tip is that you need to find two pieces that have patterns and colors that coordinate. Usually with a Stampin' Up piece of designer series paper, one side is a little bit busier or more patterned than the other side. Not always, but the majority of the time. Um, and that's the case with these two. And that definitely helps when you're putting together this kind of project because then you've got some balance there with your patterns and it wouldn't be too busy. Although these aren't, you know, these aren't horrible together, um, but you've got some options there. So choose your pieces of um, paper based on color and pattern and type of pattern. The second tip is that if you have any directionality with the pattern on the paper that you choose, you wanna make sure that you are aware of the orientation of that pattern before you start cutting. And I think that it'll work most of the time if you've got your um, pattern kind of going up and down as we cut it on the cutter. So for example, this flower is all facing up and so I'm gonna have it in this direction. I wouldn't do it like this. Now this one is a stripe, so I'm also going to put that one this way um, also. So both of these patterns are in the same way. So that's the second tip. The third tip is when you go to cut this, and it really only matters um, for one of the diagonal um, type um, card patterns that we're doing, you want the two sides that are the most busy, the ones that have the main pattern on them, you want them to go facing each other or you could put them you know, opposite like that. 
but if you put them facing each other, it helps when we're making our, um, when we're putting the cards together. All right, so here's how you cut um, this one sheet wonder. It's so easy. And there will be a PDF pattern that you can find. There's a link in the description box so that you can go and grab this pattern and print it out or look at it while you're cutting it so you don't have to remember the dimensions that I'm giving you. The first cut that you make is at two inches and you just wanna slice that whole thing off like that. So you've got a two by six inch strip and a four by six inch strip. So you're going to turn, and again, I'm cutting these at both at the same time. You're gonna turn it and you're going to measure at three and one fourth inch and you're going to cut right there. So now you've got two pieces this is two by three and a fourth, two by two and three fourths. Okay, but we cut it at three and a fourth, right? That's what's what was left over. So now we're going to take this piece and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut at four inches. And that's going to give us two squares that are four by four inches. Let's move this over here. And then the remaining piece you're going to cut at one and a half inches, which will also leave you this cute little half inch strips here. So that's what you do there. So on the, just to um, review, on the four inch strip, you cut it four inches and one and a half. The last cut that you need to make is to take your two squares and you're gonna cut them offset diagonally. So how I like to do this is I just get it lined up diagonally. I look for my um, this dark groove here, which is where the cutting blade is going to go, and I line up the two corners as if I was gonna cut it diagonally, which you absolutely can. You don't have to offset it like I'm gonna just show you. You could cut it like this and that would be great too. But I kinda like how it looks if it's offset. So I'm just gonna kinda turn it um, counterclockwise like that, just give it a little twist. And now I've, I've gone about um, half inch, three fourths of an inch from the corner on each side. And we're gonna give that a cut. I just like to call that kind of an offset diagonal. All right, so we can put the paper cutter away. So now I'm going to bring out my five card fronts and we're gonna put these cards together like that. All right, so looking at the cards, here are kind of the designs that I came up with. So this piece right here, that's two inches by two and three fourths. These are going to go together um, on a card front and kind of sit in the middle. So you have to decide, do you want that version or do you want that version and you, you know, that's probably the hardest decision hopefully that you have to make um, in your craft room today. I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna put those there. That's what that card front's gonna look like. Let's do a diagonal. So you're going to take, let's see, let's do this one. We're gonna do one with this color. So we'll take the top part of that diagonal and then we're gonna take the bottom part of that other piece and just do a straight kind of diagonal piece like that. And then for this one, we're going to do like that. Let's see, how did I have this? And like that. So I kind of think that's a really interesting kind of fold. It just creates this nice little kind of angular effect. You know what, I'm gonna switch these though because I don't like that those flowers are sideways. So I think what I meant to do is to do that. There we go. No, hold on. How was I doing this? I, want, I definitely want the flowers to be pointing up. So let's do, the thing is, you can set these on here however you want. It looks really good. Yeah, this is what I want. 
Okay, I want that, and then I want this. Good. As you can see, you can mix and match these anyway. You just have to pick one. All right, so there we've got three layouts. Now we'll do with our final pieces here, these two. So we're gonna take one of these, a one and a quarter by four inches, and we're gonna put that across that way. And we'll put this one here, and then we'll put this little strip at the bottom. And these all line up perfectly, kind of giving you some nice white space. And then on this one, we'll take these pieces and go like that, all right? So again, you have a lot of wiggle room here to kind of flip your pieces back and forth and decide which way you want them to, you know, live on your card front. But this is kind of the basic design that I came up with. All right, so now that we've got those where we want them to be, it's time to glue them down. So I'm gonna use liquid glue for this part. If you haven't done a one sheet wonder before, um, I have a video, which I will also put the link for that video under um, in the description box for a 12 by 12 one sheet wonder project that makes eight cards. And that one is also very fun to do. Um, it's like, um, if you like puzzles, you're gonna really enjoy this because once you start kind of making them, you, um, you kind of wanna see what it looks like in all the different papers. So let's glue this one down. You um, don't have to use liquid glue. I just like that it allows me a little bit of wiggle room to line things up and then there's a little bit of um, saving grace there. If you don't quite get it right, you can peel it back up for a little bit and reposition it. So leave me a comment on this video if you have made a one sheet wonder design before and if it's something that you enjoy doing. There are so many different um, patterns out there and each one does something a little bit different. So it's really fun to kind of collect those ideas and keep them in your um, pocket for when you, um, when you just need a little bit of inspiration to get you going when you sit down to make some cards or to sit down to do some crafting. I find that a lot of times I will um, be tired or I will have taken a break from crafting for a while. And when you do that and you go to sit down, sometimes it's hard to get started again <laughs> and you need just like a little little jump start and it's really great to pull out a pattern that you can just kind of cut and follow and then um, you know it kind of reinvigorates your um, crafting. So for these two I'm just going to kind of I want them to be centered and that's always kind of difficult to eyeball but we're going to go for it. Ooh. And then for this last one, I love this layout. These two little strips are gonna overlap just about a quarter of an inch, so I'm gonna place them. They just make this nice little um, cluster. So this piece I'm gonna put about a quarter of an inch from one of the edges and space it evenly. And then this one is gonna go a quarter of an inch from the other side approximately, and it's just gonna overlap. that piece right in the middle and then this green one is this little strip here is just going to tie everything together and i'm going to put that kind of near the bottom of 
that over just a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm keeping these cards very simple. And one of the reasons I liked this pattern um, that I created is that you put it on to maybe a neutral kind of cardstock, like the basic white, so that you can do some stamping on here as well. So I'm going to show you some samples a little bit later um, that in the live video that I did for this pattern that you can go back and watch. I actually did some stamping onto the white before I put the pieces on, and that is really fun too. It gives you another way to kind of step up this basic pattern. Another thing that you could do at this point um, especially if you were going to choose to put greetings on here or sentiments that were, um, for example, if you wanted to stamp your sentiments and punch out or die cut little, you know, white pieces or whatever color to put your sentiments on, that's adorable too. And I'll show you some examples of that. So if you were going to choose to do that versus stamping right on the um, the actual white card base here you could actually put all of these in an embossing folder and then kind of melt this cardstock right into the embossing folder and um, that would really look pretty as well they would kind of look a little bit like you know a little bit like quilting depending on what embossing folder you're using but we're not going to do that today i just wanted to throw that idea out there all right so let's put our greetings on here and i wanted to use this stamp set called happy thoughts this is a stamp set that is in the january through june mini catalog and so since it's through june and we're already almost halfway through june that means that there are items in this book that are no longer going to be available and this stamp set is one of them. So I am making sure that I am using it um, all that I can before it kind of has to go into the uh, shelf of unused stamps. <laughs> um, this stamp set is called Happy Thoughts and it's super great if you love greetings and you love greetings that coordinate such that you have kind of an inside greeting and an outside greeting for your card. So it's got all your basic all occasion greetings. So this one is on the retired list. Let's see, it is $21. There's also a link to this PDF until the end of June. These are the products that are in this catalog that are retiring. So if you're interested in that, you can find that very easily. Okay, so let's put some happy thoughts on here. I'm going to use, move this over just a little bit. I'm gonna make some all occasion cards here. So I'm gonna bring out navy ink to stamp my sentiments so it'll bring in the navy color in this um, background. And I am going to stamp, let's see, we're gonna make this one a thank you card. And I'm actually gonna stamp right on the designer series paper for this particular version because that will look sweet. So there's our thank you. And then for this one, I'm going to stamp congratulations. And then on this one, we're gonna do a happy birthday. And then, for these two, we're gonna do thinking of you because I feel like this is such a great greeting. You can use it for every single occasion. Sympathy, birthday, whatever, just because. And then I'm also going to put that on this one, like that. All right, so now we've got our greetings on there. The last thing that we need to do before we put them on our card bases is we're just gonna add some embellishments. And like I said, I really wished after I made these cards that I had that in symmetry stamp set and that super cute punch that had the little um, symmetrical leaves on them. And so I'm like, okay, well, you don't have it. So what are you going to use? And so I thought it would be great to bring in, um, this is my new favorite flower punch called Flower and Leaves. And that is part of the Flowers of Friendship um, stamp set bundle. 
And so we're going to use these two flowers from this bundle and we're going to um, punch them out. And so I'm going to bring in some accent colors. So, you know, our main colors um, are being defined by the designer series paper. And so the card bases, as you saw when I made those, are gonna be the Just Jade color. So I'm gonna make the flowers these colors. So let me just show you how I'm going to do that. So let's stamp some coral flowers. I'm just going to stick with the Knight of Navy ink because every those are what my um, my ink color is for the greetings. So we'll punch that out like that. And then I've got two pretty coral flowers. So um, if you noticed, I've got my two flowers on my block um, and they match exactly with my punch. And I'll show you what I've done. I just created a template for myself. So I went ahead and punched out first from this little piece of scrap paper. And then I set my punch, my, um, here, I'll clean this off so you can see. I set my stamps inside the template that I made like that. I just made sure they were centered in those holes. And then I picked up my block. So now I can stamp and know that it's gonna uh, match with my punch um, when I, it just makes it so much easier when I'm gonna use that. So I keep that template so that every time I need to realign them, that template's right there. All right, so I already punched out the flowers. So we would have all of those ready to go to put on these cards. Doesn't that look like fun? So I, like I said, I didn't have the um, symmetrical leaves punch yet. It's gonna be on my hot list, but I do have this one, which is called Sprig. And it is, it is similar enough that it's gonna it's gonna be okay if, if I use that. So I cut out a bunch of those. So I'm going to just add these flowers to my cards with some glue dots. So let's just plop them on there because you know what, they all coordinate. We'll put some bumblebee, put a bumblebee flower here. And then let's put a flirty flamingo here and then we'll put one of these cute little sprigs stick it under there and for this one let's do a coral flower and we'll do a bumblebee flower kind of tuck them there together and then we'll make the sprig kind of coming out this way so it's super simple embellishments. I love it when I can use punches um, to create just some simple little fun things. All right, let's do this one next and we'll put, let's do a large bumblebee flower. And then well, let's put three on here. Let's, let's go crazy and put three on here like that, so that one needs to be up higher. Like that, cute. And then we'll put a little sprig here, nice. And for happy birthday, let's do, how easy is this, right? Now you may be thinking like this would be a great little gift to give somebody, and you're absolutely right, who wouldn't love to get a little gift of all occasion cards? Just kind of wrap them up in a ribbon or make a cute little con holder for them and you've got just a great set of, of cards to give somebody. Cute. Okay, we're gonna do three because we can. Put that guy up there. And then we've got one more. This one definitely needs to be yellow. We've got our little sprig. And 
let's do a coral. Like that. Okay. And let's get those on our card bases. And then we've got five cards. Wasn't that quick and easy? I love this idea. You're gonna see how much I love this idea in a second because I'm gonna show you all of the different sets that I've made just in the last 24 hours, doing exactly as I told you, going, oh, I should try this paper. <laughs> Let's see how it looks with this stamp set. Let's just do this. Do you find yourself when you are um, following a pattern like this, do you like to um, stick exactly to the pattern or do you get started and then you're like, oh, I can make this, I can make this my own kind of thing and you make adjustments to it. Which, which way are you when you get, when you get to doing something like that? Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some um, rhinestones to these because um, I'd like to just carry in the blue a little bit more. So each of these, um, except for this one, really has navy blue. I guess this one um, neither, but we're going to just add a little bit of navy blue. So I'm going to take my dark Knight of Navy stamp and blend, and I'm just going to color on the rhinestones. And we've got five large flower so I'm going to do five of those rhinestones and then we have one two three four five six seven of the smaller flowers so I will do seven small rhinestones and now let's attach these to our card card fronts so it's just going to add a little bit of that blue and make it kind of all tied together. Like that, whoops, that one didn't want to stick. Oh, I to oh, no, there it is, I was gonna say I miscounted, there it is. All right, now they're done. What do you guys think? What do you, do you like this um, project? Do you like the card layouts? Um, are you, did you overlook this paper like I did in the catalog? What do you think? So let me just show you um, how I went a little bit crazy. All right, so we'll set these aside. So I made a set with the same flowers because they're just so cute and I used last year's um, Misty Moonlight designer series paper with the in color paper and this was actually a six by six um, sheets and I used two different ones and these are completely monochromatic and I used the biggest wish chunky um, word set and I just filled in the white with some with some greetings and then added the flowers as you can see and I just thought these were absolutely beautiful and so simple they came together in about I don't know I want to say 20 minutes they were very very fast so I did those and then I played with the pattern play designer series paper that is one of the hostess um, sets of paper that you can get and this little rainbow piece is just so so cute um, and so I wanted to do something that was kind of really bright and cheery and I brought in the flowers from Art and Bloom because one of the sides of the designer series paper coordinates with that stamp set 
So we've got a lot of little, just some black and white and some rainbow and they're just so fun and happy. I don't know if you can see the um, little flower on there, but the red flower has a shimmer on there. I used the Wink Stella. So those are super cute. And then I decided I needed to do it with, well, these are the ones that I showed, told you I was gonna show you. Um, these are the ones made with the hand penned suite. And there's a video that shows you how I put these together, very similar to what you just watched, but a little bit different because I added um, the stamping into it. So this paper is absolutely gorgeous. They're so beautifully um, just pastel and soft and um, very, very pretty. So the, this was the first one that I made and I just love it. So you can watch that video and see that. And then the last set that I made is with the um, Pansy Party, Pansy Petals, Pansy something paper. And this paper is absolutely to die for gorgeous too. It's so pretty. Look at these colors. And I just took um, all the different little um, stitched um, labels of different sizes and I put greetings on them so that I could show you an example where the greetings and there weren't any stamping on the white space on the cards. This is what it would look like if you would add another little um, piece with your greeting. And I think this looks really cute too. So you've kind of got the option where you can, you know, stamp right on the white or you can leave it white and then just add a little bit. Um, I meant to point out with these, instead of using a white um, trimmed quarter sheet, I used uh, basic black on that. So you don't have to stick to white. You can use any other color as well, including white. So I hope this gives you a lot of ideas um, for getting out some pattern paper and making a quick set of cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please um, like my, subscribe to my channel, like the video and all that good, good stuff. I appreciate all your time with me. Thank you so much. Bye.